what is the best GA celebration of all time? We're going to do a video on football, one on hurling. We're going to start with hurling here, here with Michael Verney. And uh, I'll just show you, I just threw it out on Twitter saying, uh, best celebrations of all time in GA. Is there anything to rival Tardelli? So, anyone who um, remembers the assistant Ireland manager there for a few years under Trapattoni will probably know that he did this unbelievable celebration in World Cup 1982 where he's actually crying. He's loving it that much. And to be fair to him, what a moment to do it on the biggest stage. Uh, there are some amount of them, aren't they, to be, to be fair, Mike? Ah, oh, there's an outrageous amount of them, yeah. Like, it's, it's funny how certain ones kind of stay in, ingrained in your head, particularly if you were at a game and you're just thinking... Because you don't... Like, there are different celebrations, but, like, a lot of lads don't celebrate. It's just running into a lad or a lad giving him a tap on the back. So when someone does something out of the ordinary, it definitely sticks in their head. Like, I, I was in Tullamore... The evening, I think it was uh, it was Galway's first Leinster Championship match when Canning did the the the, uh, the John Cena. You can't see me. I think it was, I think he said after it was something to do with a bet or a bet that he'd had with some lads that lived in his house or something like that. But you got to you love stuff like that, and I'd be a wrestling fan as well, and I'd be used to like different like wrestling celebrations and different techniques that lads would have. You know whether it's you know Stone Cold bashing beers off each other or the Rock going up in the corner and putting the arm up like that or the Randy Orton kind of going back like that. I love all that kind of um, that kind of little element of showbiz. So when lads let their guard down a small bit and do something like that in the GA, I absolutely love it. I wonder when it'll get to the stage like soccer where you have you know Deli Ali and Hyun Min Sung and they're doing all this nonsense and you know the thumbs flying around and all this the the sort of things that end up on TikTok videos. I don't know if we're at, we're at that just yet in GA, but uh, just to stick with hurling, even to stick with Galway. Um, a celebration from Damien Hayes back in, I think it was around 2011, when Cork beat or lost to Galway in the Gaelic grounds. He ended up scoring a goal, and somehow he ended up with two hurleys in his hand, and he ran off celebrating with the two of them up there, and then I think he just threw off the other one. Uh, so I thought that was a particularly good one, because, you know, something like that, it just happens in the spur of the moment. He just happened to have two hurleys in his hand, completely unplanned. So I really like that one. Another one, of course, goes without saying, Satanto Halpines celebration back in 2003 oh that was brilliant yeah i never forget that uh, there were a couple of lads around awfully i remember there was an under 16 final and borough were playing rhinus in it and uh, gary kelly the place for rhinus scored a goal and and, and 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 come out doing that as well there's a couple around that era as well like big dan anytime big dan got the goal and the jersey was going hopping out like that like there's just certain iconic ones that you'll never forget and when you're like when when me and you do it a good bit when we're poking around a half time uh, when we're sitting on the bench or we're act, acting the bollocks and those type of things those are the type of things that, that you do or even when you're just poking around before training or anything like that those are the ones those two in particular will be ones that would definitely come to mind yeah absolutely I'm just going to look at some of the suggestions that were sent in by viewers so this famous one from John Milan where he's given the two fingers up to Cork. I mean, that's that's very, very funny. Um, there's another one here, yeah, this amazing one photo from um, the All-Ireland Final in 1990 between Cork and Galway, John Fitzgibbon jumping up in the air. So that's a that's a brilliant one. Um, let's see, also in Hurling, yeah, there's Tanto Halpine. Joe Canning's goal, as you had mentioned, that was, uh, that was sent in. And I'm not 100% sure, oh, there it is, yeah, the uh, Niall Healy. So he'd score, obviously he scored that hat-trick in 2005 against Kilkenny. And during that game, when he scored, I think he kicked in maybe his third goal, but he stood, stood up in front of the hill and just pointed in at it. So that was a really, really special one. Yeah, um, it's funny just when you're thinking there as well, celebrations for goals, and then you kind of think, lads are now celebrating freeze in hurling like if I, 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 like you, I have somebody i have somebody in my head and i want to know who you is in your head when you think of the fist pump who do you think of in hurling brendan bogler <laughs> bang brendan bogler is the exact same one it was like it was this every time you want a free every time you gave a hand pass nearly there was a fist bump yeah, Shane McGrath gets plenty, plenty of it uh, about that and all the tip backs really over the last number of years. Another honourable mention for Jackie Tyrrell, I remember in the 2012 All-Ireland against Galway, he did four fist pumps after thinking he had won a free, but actually the free was given the other way. So I don't know if any county is above it, to be honest. 
No, definitely not. Yeah, definitely not. And it, it can be a bit over the top at the time, but I suppose it, at least it's a bit of character. You don't want to take lads' character kind of away from games as well. But the score and celebrations are nearly always the best one. One that sticks in my mind, and it's actually, it's pr- probably because it's a kind of a family link, and it's not a celebration of a player. And I said it kind of to you, to you before, uh, when Johnny Flatterty scores the hand pass goal in 1981, he hand passed it in over his shoulder and I don't care what anyone says and they can say it was a throw. It was not a throw. It was a clear strike in action. The ball ends up in the net but my granduncle uh, Mick Verney who was treasurer of the Offaly GA club or Offaly GA for years and used to be the man on the gate in Brendan's Park. He's the man doing a jig behind the goals when the ball, when the ball goes in and I just think like, I'm, like it's not great. Flaherty doesn't even celebrate that much but you see this man celebrating behind the goals and I remember the clip coming out recently and someone said Oh, what I would give to um, to be in the position that that man was in and been celebrating in Crow Park when their county scores a goal to win their first All Ireland. But uh, yeah, it was a, a brilliant jig. Yeah, I'm gonna have, I must recreate it sometime. Let's let's pick our own favorite ones. Um, with Tipperary, there's obviously you know we've had so much to celebrate over over the years, so I, I've probably plenty to choose from. I don't. In 2010, I, I enjoyed the way Sheedy gave it the old finger wag after Lara Corbett put in the third goal. And, because that was the punctuation point, that was the end of it. You knew the tip had won. I think the old uh, tap in the heads between Norm McGrath and Owen Kelly, I think a lot of tip fans enjoyed that. But they my kill own... Kenny boys, they kill Kenny boys, absolutely hated that. In Owen Larkin's book, like he talks about them coming out like this, and he, he could, you can just, if, you know when someone is writing something, you can just imagine them saying it, and you can just imagine the disgust that, that, is, that they have in their voice or in their head when they're saying it. Yeah, I can imagine indeed. Uh, but my favourite, number one, has to be, and I'm sure it's going to be the same with you, where you're picking something more personal or to do with your own team. But Tipperary, 1991, Aidan Ryan does the two block downs and then blasts one into the bottom corner of the net, wearing a number 18 jersey, the, the flash of blonde hair, and the whole crowd just explodes onto the pitch as that happened. I just thought it was, it wasn't so much what he did, but just the fact that the whole crowd exploded onto the field at the one time. So I, I picked that as my number one celebration. And it's funny that it, it was the crowd that made it rather than the actual player. Yeah, I actually haven't got a personal one with Offaly. I have, probably haven't thought about it enough. But the one that immediately comes to mind with me is, and because I only saw it recently, and it just it's it's almost out, it's out of character for Kilkenny. But when Tommy Walsh scores that goal against Brendan Cummins, where he's after pulling off, a couple of saves. Remember what the real the real bouncy ball was in Hurling. Literally, if you hit it off a wall, it would come back ten times harder at you nearly hit you in the face. Walsh took two shots, come and saved, and he eventually scores the rebound. And he must jump in the air about ten times. It, it's gone on for about 30 seconds after, and it's just pure kind of raw emotion. And I just it's really unlike something even that Kilkenny player would do to just go a bit kind of mad. And Tommy went completely bonkers that day. It was the All-Ireland semi-final in, I think it was 03, was it? I think it was 03. And uh, that was just, it was totally kind of our character for them and probably for him as well. Actually, now that you mention him, that was Tommy Walsh's first season in the team. How much do you think he scored in that championship? Because I was just happened to look it up today. Uh, he got three points, didn't he, before coming off sick, I think, in the All-Ireland final that year. So, And he got an All-Star half hour that year. I'd probably say... What did he score that year? About, about 113, 114? Not far off, 111. That was his only ever championship goal for Kilkenny and a fair one to get. So you're sticking on that for your favourite celebration. Coming to mind then is Christy Ring doing the little jigs with the, the sort of hurley up in the air. So there are plenty of them. If we've missed out on any obvious one, let us know. Uh, you know, disabuse us of our silly notions and let us know what you think. It's a great one as well, Shane. Um, it, it actually wasn't really captured on video at the time, but it's captured in photograph, which is always great. Um, I think it was when... I think it was when one of Offaly's goal in the 95 All-Ireland, I think it was when Johnny Pilkin got the battered goal in the second half. And Joe Dooley is our picture, but Joe Dooley jumps up. And the ball is hit just hit after hitting the net, and Joe Dooley looks like he's suspended about four or five foot off the ground. You know when a fella jumps up and his legs are tucked in almost, like like he's doing like kind of heel flicks almost. And he, he must be three or four feet off the ground. But that's another kind of one of those iconic pictures of a celebration.